name? Friends and neighbors? Or shall I say this afternoon? Welcome back to the political process here on the channel. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, it's week one of 2042. We had a very busy first year in office as Presidente of Los Estados Unidos. So uh, you can see here national laws taking effect this year. We've got tax reform, we've got universal health care, we decreased the social security eligibility age, we increased the renewable tax credit, established universal preschool, universal background checks, a path to citizenship, increased minimum wage, set up crime rehab programs, and a carbon capture and storage mandate. Now, we do have a couple of protégés that are retiring. We'll have to deal with them. The one other thing that we might want to look at is drug courts. If you remember, that was one of the things that kind of popped up on the radar. Um, so let's first go in and find a couple of protégés. So let's pick states that we feel like I guess let's go Florida we want to pick swing states we'll go Stewart he's 37 so he's got plenty of runway left in his career and then let's go like Ohio maybe sure why not Richard Chalmers now we've got meetings with our um, cabinet here and some of this we're going to have to kind of take step by step so if we look at the Secretary of Treasury, um, we did slightly reduce the national debt. Uh, we paid off that much. Uh, actually, that's how much we paid just in interest. And then we have a surplus of 541 billion last year. So we did pretty well there. The Attorney General says we're housing about 500,000 federal inmates at a cost of 16 billion a year. We should, and then he says he's been reading some research that suggests drug courts are effective. So before I forget, we're going to go straight into legislation. We're going to go to create, we're going to go to crime, and we are going to do federal drug courts and change it to true. It's going to cost 62 billion we're going to say yes and it is submitted and on its way to becoming a law the reason we want to do that that could actually reduce how much we have to spend on federal prisons and balance out the cost of the drug courts so uh secretary of agriculture oh man what's going on here reduces poverty costs that much 41 percent blah, 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 costs that much and need-based breakfast program provides food to that many people it costs that much okay health and human services it's good to see our reports show that 100 percent of our constituents have access to health care an increase of 13 percent that's because everybody gets free health care well, not free. Um, they pay taxes to cover it, hypothetically, but <laughs> the services that they get are then covered. So, all right. Uh, housing and development. 100% of the roughly 1.2 million homeless individuals have access to shelter. Homelessness decreased by 2%. We provide housing to approximately 3.7 million people, and we calculate that that reduces poverty by a half of a percent. Secretary of Transportation, 100% uh, of highways are in good shape, 42 experience some congestion. So let's see if we can get some more funds for infrastructure. If we don't have enough funds, we could increase the gas tax. We don't necessarily want to do that, but we might have to. Secretary of Education. 
Uh, graduation rate is 87.6. That is down 0.1%. Increased public school funding could fix that. And then Social Security. Whew. Wow, that many that many retirees would be impoverished without Social Security. So we've got to have Social Security, but that's super expensive at 1.2 trillion. Dang. All right, now what are we going to need to do here? We have a 69% approval rating, which is actually pretty good, I would imagine. So let's go ahead to the next week now. Um, our bill made it out of committee for drug courts. C.E. Alcock granted our bill a hearing. So that's that. We're still fundraising, even though I really don't feel like I need to do fundraising, but whatever. Um, so let's create the federal budget here. Um, if you remember, what were we going to mess with? Uh, transportation. So, highway maintenance. Maintenance was fine. It was... Um, it was construction that were hurt. So, this year's budget request is $50.5 million. We've got a pretty big surplus. Let's see if we can just crank this up to, like... 60 billion in fact let's make it 75 let's get crazy here good enough and then what else was there that was kind of um borderline oh education let's find funding for public schools where was that Average benefits per student, so grants for low-income communities. I might be able to see, like, here, that's fixed. This is not even on. Edgeability, so... Let's go here and see if we can crank this up. That might help. We still have a surplus, so we're good. You know what I mean? Higher education grants. I'm not real worried about that. I, I want to focus more on the lower levels. You know what I'm saying? So grants for learning communities. All of these are false. True. School improvement grants. We're going to crank this up, too. I want to get aggressive at tackling this problem. Let's go, like, halfway up the slider. Special Ed, Post-Secondary Education, Office of Vocational and Adult Education, Innovation and Improvement, Impact, eight. so provide funding for school districts that reside in fully or partially on federal land. They do not collect property taxes, so they don't have a lot of funding, so let's crank that up. So that's that. Uh, how about defense spending? I want... See, I wish you could just do, like, one slider that did everything. Instead of, like, each individual branch and then the reserves. Like, that's just a lot to deal with. So we're just going to let that go. And I think that's pretty much all we wanted to deal with. There were schools and there were roads. Let's submit it. Say yes. And moving along. So HR1 made it out of the house. And then what about our budget? Is that this S1? I think. And it made it out 12 to 10. And now we have HR1. Libertarian uh, caucus is against, moderate Republicans are against, conservative Republicans against, everyone else is for it. We are going to support this. Boom. That's going to become a law. And that's all we need to do today. We don't care about these press conferences. Let's go ahead and move along. 
I guess the budget made it through, although we will see its final version, and it might not have those increases that I wanted, but not much I can do about that. I can just tell them what I want, and then I gotta just kind of sit and wait. Maybe this is the budget. What is S1? You should be proud of this legislation. This legislation is exactly what I needed. But what is the legislation? It would, it would ruin everything. Oppose as fast as you can. What legislation is this? What is S1? Is that the budget? Or is that a part of the budget? S1. Amendment failed to pass. I don't know what... So S1 is Bryce Driscoll. Oh, he submitted the, the amendment. Hmm. Maybe this is to do with... Okay, news. This is based on need-based school grants. And so I'm going to support this. This is something that I wrote into the budget. And it's basically straight down the same lines as before. Oh, and see, we're just increasing it, and we're going to support this. Boom. Signed into law. Get some. Next. We probably don't have a whole lot else to do. Okay, what is HR3? Universal health care? Who is what? 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 Where is this HR3? Who wrote HR3? Somebody submitted an amendment. House Ways and Means. Where is HR3? She submitted a universal health care bill to Congress. What does it say? I don't I don't understand what what's the Let's just look at it. Decreases Okay, a program that provides all citizens with blah health care is free in the sense that it doesn't blah 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 super blah, blah blah. Decreases average benefits provided by that much. Uh, I'm gonna. That's. I mean, it's Democrats doing it. I think Republicans were against it. We'll just whatever support it. It's fine. I don't think that that's a huge deal. New challenges. Ooh, ooh, ooh access to health care. We got that one. Scored some points there. I don't know that we did anything to increase the military budget. We're not gonna do these. We are not going to reduce income tax yet we might be able to do that like next year um so let's let's just get rid of all those who cares we don't even need those we got so many political points that like now i'm not in it for that like i'm in it to just do what's best for the country you know what i'm saying man we should be coming up on budget appropriations here soon we've got elections that we don't really care about. But let's look and see what's going on. Oh, we do have... Um, these are just primaries, though, so they don't matter too much. It's the general elections. Like, let's go to campaign. Endorse. For state house. Let's just go here to hit endorse multiple. We're going to say for the political party we want to endorse, and we're going to endorse for all the election types, and just say continue. Right? Boom. We endorsed a bunch of candidates, and it's awesome. So glad that I found that button. Now, we've got rallies that we can attend, and we got to get out there and do this. I do not care about the fundraisers. We're going to do rallies. Every single week, that's what we're spending our time on. We've got to try and focus on winning these midterms. And it'll help, I think, if I'm out there. So we're traveling all over the country here. Tend. 
Boom. Next, a new challenge. Let's check out the challenge. Reduce income tax. That's just not going to happen, guys. Go here. Defense appropriations. I'm going to say that we support it. And we are going to attend all these rallies. Agriculture. Support. Attend. Good to go there. Attend. What is this one? Energy and Water Development Appropriations Bill. Sure. Uh, what do we have going on here? Nothing. All right. Financial Services. Support. Attend. Go. Now we have a new challenge. Illegalized. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Homeland Security. Interior and Environment. Labor Health, Human Services, and Education. This is the big one because I think that had some of that stuff that I wrote in for education. We're going to say we support, obviously. Attend those rallies. Uh, what do we have here? Reduce poverty. So we'll see if we can do that, but I don't know. Legislative branch appropriations. Sure. Veterans Affairs. Yep. State and foreign operations. Black Ops. I don't really know exactly what that means, but it's probably like international relations and embassies and stuff like that. Money we got to spend on that stuff. All right, we are now in week 35. Getting close to these midterms. Let's check out the challenge. Reduce poverty, reduce the gas tax. That's not going to happen because we might need to increase the gas tax if anything else. So we're going to let that one go for now. Um, next. Next. This will be interesting to see how we do in the midterms. We still have a pretty good approval rating. And I am out and about traveling and going to all kinds of rallies. So hopefully that has a positive impact. We will see. Here comes a big, big moment of truth. <sighs> All right, so we're running the elections. Yes, we want to watch election night coverage. So let's look at the Senate. There are, it looks like, Plus 18. There are 33 seats open. We want to maintain the majority here, but I'm not sure if we're going to. And then same thing here. There's a lot of House elections going on. Or is this the number of seats that are up for grabs? Or is those that that's the number of seats that are already held, I imagine. So, so far, no gained seats, but I don't know if that number gets determined once they're all decided but we're still behind still behind oh no still behind but we closed the gap by one come on <laughs> oh we're ahead we need two states if we can get like Georgia and Oregon look at this we're going to maintain. We gained a seat. Guys, we gained a seat. Why? Where's the other one? So it's still 5248. It says that we gained a seat, but I feel like it was 5248 already. We lost five seats, but we still have the majority in both House and Senate. Get some, baby. 
Democrats lost the governor's seat, but that's not a huge deal. Let's just look at the state house out of curiosity. Pennsylvania is still leaning Democrat. That is freaking awesome, guys. I cannot believe that. <laughs> I thought for sure it would flip flop with as much as we did in this episode or in that, that first year. I thought we would have Republicans in an uproar and they would come out in droves to take back the House and Senate. That didn't happen. So maybe we can push the agenda a little bit further. Let's see if uh, old Jay the turkey is there again. No, it's Bradford this time. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. All right. So that's year two in the books. We are basically halfway to, um, you know, a second term. So we'll need to decide if we're going to run for re-election, and I'm pretty sure we're going to, and we should win. If our uh, approval rating stays that high, especially considering how much we've done and we've kept the House and Senate in you know, favor of the Democrats, that is a massive, massive accomplishment and speaks volumes of my leadership skills. So let's go ahead to the next week and just kind of see what we're dealing with. Um, we're only 21 minutes into the episode, and I'm kind of considering just running with this to do another one. Um, let's do it. So drug courts, education grants for low income, and then we dropped the amount of health care benefits. But um, that's that. Now, we don't have any protégés retiring or whatever, so nothing huge there. I think we're going to go get crazy and maybe go after something like gun rights just to see if we can get it done. And if we can do that and still win the White House again, oh man, would that be crazy town. We're going to do it, though. We're, gonna, we're just going to get weird with this. So we had another surplus we're eating into the the deficit as well the national debt is down by like a half of a trillion dollars in one year that's pretty solid and there is basically where that number essentially shows up um that we could we could pump another roughly 400 billion towards the national debt which would be crazy all right, so we're good there. Attorney General, this number went up, which is weird considering we put, although we just installed this one, the uh, drug courts. You know, he's saying increase the number of rehab programs, but I don't know what else we could do really. We can look at it, but I don't think that's high on the list. Those are sort of irrelevant. Health and Human Services, we're still you know, sitting at 0%. Housing and urban development. We're still at 100%, but homelessness increased. That's no bueno. Secretary of Transportation. No real change there, which is kind of frustrating. Maybe that stuff that I put into the budget got taken out by the time it got to me. I'm going to look at that. Uh, Secretary of Education that's still decreasing social security nothing really to worry about there all right let's get crazy let's go ahead and just advance one week and now we need to create the federal budget um let's go into education that number is still up i don't really know what else i can do there um school improvements last year's budget was way up there and they're trying to bring it back down we're, we're gonna no we're gonna leave it like where it was so let's be sure that we try and get that kind of stuff baked in here let's increase this another 500 bucks ish so we still have tons left in the budget there um, last year's budget was 2.6. We're going to go up that 
direction again. And then that's for education. For transportation, last year's budget for highway construction was way up there. I'm going to basically go double the request. Get some freaking highways built to help reduce congestion, y'all. So it adds more lanes to existing interstate highways. Funding is first deducted from the Highway Trust Fund, which is funded using gas tax revenue. If the Highway Trust Fund is insufficient to pay for expenses, the expenses are added to discretionary funding. I think that kind of makes sense, but anyway. So those are the only two changes we're gonna make. We're gonna do that again. Should we do anything for housing and urban, urban development to help with, um, like rural, this could help with, um, homelessness. So let's give that a try. Why not? Permanent housing programs. Yeah. Let's just, let's submit that. We still have a pretty good surplus. Let's submit it. Say yes. Boom. We've got stuff going on there that they're going to vote on as part of the, uh, those changes that I made everything made it out it's going to come to me i imagine where i'm going to have to vote on it as well <sighs> my back's killing me y'all next everything was approved we are going to support that next we're going to support that And now they're trying to lower this again, I imagine. I'm going to veto this. Forget you guys. We're not lowering the, the benefits. What's wrong with the benefits where they are? All right. What do we need to do now? Challenges, reduce poverty effect, reduce gas tax. That's not going to happen. Flat income taxes, those aren't going to happen. Do we need to do anything? No, there, are, there shouldn't be any major races on that on the uh the campaign trail so i think we're good to just kind of go on cruise control for a bit here challenges oh no 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 uh let's go into challenges reduce poverty reduce gas tax we're not going to do those but we are going to go in here and is it under crime for guns we're going to do like an assault weapon ban on a federal level this is going to be crazy town. Approval rating of 68%. I wonder if I can get this through. <laughs> let's uh, just in case. <laughs> let's go here and save it. Because um, I don't want to completely sabotage my future. But let's give it a whirl. So assault weapon ban. Continue. Call it true. And oh man. Buckle up, y'all. It made it out 21 to 18. And then 11 to 9. And then 256 to 179. Just to give you an idea, that's getting bipartisan support. And a fair amount of it. So... Look how many people are actually saying that they're against it, but progressive Democrats are the only ones that are like, yep, let's do it. So it got 54 votes in the Senate. So two Republicans voted for it. It's going to happen. We have banned assault weapons in the United States. Holy moly. The odds of something like that happening in real life are so ridiculous. But... Apparently, the country believes in me, and so do, um, you know, some folks in the House and Senate. I've got a ton of influence. God, daggone it, people like me. So, we are going to run for re-election. Yes. Dan Fang, you're going to be our campaign manager again. No one is likely to challenge me in the primaries, so focus on the general election. Spend your time campaigning in swing states. 
and we are going to stick with economic income per capita. Uh, let's go ahead and focus on reducing violent crime, which could be... I wonder if the assault ban will help this or not. Current rate of violent crime is 0.1%. We want total crime down from 11.5%. And then we are going to focus on energy and just energy. Interesting. You don't have to pick a subcategory there. So there we go. And if we look at voter enthusiasm, it is really high among all parties. So crime and guns, we're 56% of the country supports my policy on crime and guns. I wonder if that hasn't had a chance to change yet because of the assault weapon ban. But we'll find out. We have 439 million in campaign funds. We're going to go right here and we're going to say like freaking 2 million per week. Um, by television. Focused on economic growth in all states. Yes, we're not done yet. We are going to focus on crime. Uh, we're going to just do general there. Say yes. We're going to go internet to all states. And we are going to do direct mail. And we are going to go... Let's go environment and see if we can do some crazy, um, let's just say general. When it comes time for the election, maybe we'll, or after the election, assuming we win, we'll do some crazy environmental stuff, like to try and be like carbon neutral kind of thing or whatever. So let's actually make this two and a half million. Continue. That might make it where I don't really need to worry about too much. You know, nobody's running against me. So. But, and we're, look at this. We're raising over, like almost 3 million. So we're going to change the automated from 5 to 10. For, from 2.5 to 10. We have so much money, it doesn't matter. Like, if I spent 10 million per week and didn't bring any campaign funds, we'd still make it almost a year. So let's get crazy. We got the money. They gave it to me to spend on just this kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to do. Election night coverage. It's just primaries, so we don't really care. Um... I got to keep an eye on this stuff up top to see if there's anything that I need to deal with. Oh, see, we're not raising quite as much for, yeah, let's, let's go back into marketing. Oh wait, we need to train up our staff, train staff. And now let's go to marketing, automate, and we're going to cut this in half. Let's not get too crazy. And now. <clears throat> whenever it's time for um, whenever the Republican primary is over and they've selected someone that's when we'll run a poll but we don't need to deal with any of that stuff yet what do we have for uh, I haven't been paying attention to this at all I was wondering like why am I not seeing any tasks or anything because I was on the wrong tab. Duh. Idiot. So I hope I didn't miss anything important. Let's go to legislation. I should be seeing like the budgetary stuff or yeah, like appropriations committee. Like, have I signed anything into law lately? Support. I hope I didn't miss that stuff because that was HR 4. Where's HR3? 
Oh man, I wonder if we messed that up. HR3 started way back. Oh, that was one that I submitted. So that might have been the, um, no, that was the, uh, assault weapon ban. So we're okay. We didn't miss anything. But now we got to make sure that we click on these. Boom. Is that how much? Yeah, that's how much we were spending on. I don't know if commerce has that uh, highway budget in there, but I feel like we put it at like 100 billion, didn't we? Still nothing there to worry about. Our our support among Republicans is dropping. And I'll, well, it's not crime and guns, so why is it dropping? Maybe just because Republicans are getting excited about their candidates, which is understandable. We're still at 68% approval rating, which is really solid. Say so yes. Yes. Still nothing. There's not going to be a whole lot going on on the campaign front that I'm going to have to worry about um, until it's me and one Republican going head to head. So, is there anything there? No. Boom. Support. Campaign. Nothing. We're going to have to start doing like interviews and stuff eventually. And then they're going to start running campaign ads against me. And that's when I need to be ready to counter their ads like we did in the last run. And that was super um, successful as far as the results. It went way better than I had sort of initially expected. I, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I think we're done with, yeah, it looks like we're done with budgetary stuff. I don't care about the Republican primary debate, but let's watch it just anyway. Ah, we taxes. We gotta deal with taxes. Military is outrageous. We gotta fix Social Security. So those are his three things. Um... Improved tax policies, Social Security, and military. Taxes, military, Social Security. Social Security. Economy is in a terrible state. And tax system. Improve the economy, strengthen the military tax policies. So pretty universal on taxes and Social Security. This guy wants to improve health care. It's your deal, Wayne. Military taxes, social security, education, economy, and tax policies. So, kind of a mix there, but for the most part, pretty targeted. Oh, I've been forgetting to do these. I don't think it really matters that much. Um, but let's make sure we're keeping up with that stuff. I forgot to click on this tab. You know, sometimes you just forget where those things pop up. I was thinking they showed up here. Obviously, they don't. So we'll just do some interviews. We're not even going to bother traveling. Because I don't know that we really need to yet. Can I run a national poll at this point? Or no? No. It's okay. So we'll wrap up this year and then the next episode might be the entire presidential race if we're efficient enough, but it might be hard because of how much is going to be going on with having to run the country and run a campaign at the same time. I mean, I can ima I can't even fathom how little sleep a president running for their second term must get if you try and just wrap your mind around that it's insane so 
let's look at opponents. Still a pretty long list there. No, we don't care about election night coverage. Because there shouldn't be any real busy ones or big impact ones. Voter enthusiasm is actually decreasing and that's kind of worrisome. But I think we'll be okay. As long as our approval rating stays way up, I'm not too worried. Um, and now we have... When does the Republican primary... Like, when do those primaries happen? I assume it's like week 18 of next year, but... No, they start in like week seven or whatever. That's right. Okay. So still nothing going on in here, but we need to watch out for the Thanksgiving Day Parade. This time it's Austin, the turkey. So we had Jay, Bradford, and Austin. I wonder if I will start getting more uh, fundraising donations once it's down to me and one other person obviously just probably not a whole lot of excitement right now republican voter enthusiasm continues to go down and i'm wondering if it's because of my marketing campaigns being focused on the wrong things or whatever but it's okay we'll do targeted advertisements when the time comes that hopefully swing everything in our favor but i want this number to stay up around 60 or 65 percent so, and I honestly would like the Democrat voter enthusiasm to be higher. <laughs> so, we'll just keep an eye on it. Boom. Boom. Next. And nothing there. Still nothing going on. So, we got some stuff done this episode. The, obviously, the assault weapon ban is a big one. And I'm now at a point where, like, it went through. It didn't seem to have a drastic immediate impact as far as, like, approval rating and how much Republicans hate me. <laughs> so, we're going to just let it go and see if we can win a second term anyway. But there are a lot more um, big races coming up in the next episode. So we've got House, Senate, and um, our run for re-election in the White House. So it's a busy episode and one that's going to have huge implications on the future of this great nation. So... That will do it for this episode. If you have not done so already, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we will see y'all next time. Good evening, friends and neighbors. Or shall I say this afternoon?